Lupus is a debilitating disease. The body attacks its own tissues and organs, causing widespread pain and inflammation. It can have a profound impact on a patient's life. But there is help and hope. The Michigan Lupus Foundation walks with the patients here, and now they need you to walk for them. Kimberly Diamond, Executive Director, Katie Groover is an advocate. Both of you are patients of lupus. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thanks for having us. So, so you know, you both you both deal with lupus on a daily basis. Talk to us about what that's like and, and, and how, how it impacts you. Yeah, so I've had lupus um, for over 17 years, and the best way I can explain it to people is that it, like you mentioned, there's the widespread pain, inflammation, is that it feels like having the flu when you're just exhausted and can't move your body. So that's just some of what we deal with every single day. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, you can. Yeah, I, I've had lupus for about 21 years now, so I started in early childhood. So growing up with a teenager with lupus was so incredibly difficult, and it's such a hard disease for other people to understand. So it's so important to raise this awareness and have people around with us. Um, I've suffered with hair loss, mouth sores, the chronic fatigue like Kimberly had mentioned, and many other issues including arthritis and things like that. And some people with lupus have kidney disease and you can in fact actually die from lupus, which is why another reason why it's so important to raise awareness. Yeah, so talk about the organization and, and how it helps patients like you both. Yeah, so um, in Michigan alone, it's estimated there are over 14,000 people with lupus, and there's just a lot of misunderstanding um, about the disease. People have heard of it. They really don't know what, what it means. Uh, if you watch the show House, it was always a running joke with lupus. It's been on other, you know, other shows, and just people just don't understand exactly what it is. Um, so our foundation exists to improve the life of people living with lupus through support, education, and research. So we provide uh, resources for lupus patients, including counseling, financial aid, support groups, and then like awareness walks, it's really important to raise that awareness. And so we also advocate at the state and federal level behind the scenes for patients um, for uh, increase in medical coverage, uh, help with certain drugs, um, laws, uh, for, and then also funding for research. Um, so we work on the back end like that and then host events like this throughout the state of Michigan. Sure. I mean, because there are people are can't work sometimes, you know, and, and there is no cure. And so talk about what maintenance is like for you both. Yeah, so starting at an early age, I had no idea what lupus was or anything. Um, so it's great, so great to learn education and different ways that you can help to maintain your body. But you that battle with this chronic fatigue and the medications maybe don't necessarily help with that, but you take immunosuppressants, there's biologics now that can help, which have changed both of our lives in the past 10 years. Um, but there's still no cure for it. So we're fighting for that to hopefully someday achieve that day where you can both say that we're lupus free. Oh, wonderful. And so this walk, talk to us about this, and this is a chance for people to learn and a chance for people to help, right? Yeah, definitely. So we have a walk for lupus awareness. It'll be at the John Ball Zoo um, Saturday, September 9th at 10 a.m. And people can come and gather um, friends and family of people with lupus, those with lupus. You don't have to actually do the walk if you cannot. I always said a lupus walk is like an oxymoron. Many <laughs> of us with lupus, you don't know if you're going to be able to walk that day. Um, but even if you can just show up and um, meet some other uh, lupus warriors and just have that sense of community. So people will walk from the Palm Pavilion to the entrance of the zoo and then have the option to go into the zoo. Um, and we'll be doing fundraising on site for the foundation as well. Wonderful. And talk about community too. I mean, being able to have someone with you who, who understands what you're going through, because I think so many people don't get it, right? Absolutely. Lupus is classified as an invisible disease. As you can see with both of us, we might not look like we're battling with something every single day, but it's all internal and, and sometimes can be skin issues as well. But it is so important to have that community of people that understand and know what you're going through because it's a difficult disease. It truly is. And having somebody that can relate to you can make all the difference in the world. Absolutely. Well, let's get people to this walk. There are the details right there. September 9th at the John Ball Zoo. Check-ins at 9. The event starts at 10. You don't have to walk. You can just sit there, support, be part of this community. MILupus.org. Ladies, thank you so much for all you do. Thank, thank you, you very much. much. Absolutely. We'll be right back.